Hi everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups, and in this episode, we are going to focus in on your presentation workflow, looking at some tips and strategies to help you work fast and efficient in PowerPoint. We're gonna kick this off with one of my go-tos, and that is what I'm calling grid life, all right? That is maximizing the power of the PowerPoint grid to help you work fast and efficient and precise everything that you want, nothing that you don't. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a peek at this and get familiar with some of these key things. So the first thing is you can see I have a grid visible here on my deck, but you don't see the settings. So what I want to do is from the home menu, which where you'd typically be, you'd want to hit view and then you've got this grid line option. Okay, grid lines, that is the key. So what I would encourage you to do is either get familiar with that or hitting Alt W G, Alt W G to show and hide. And if you hit Alt and just let go, you're gonna notice up top here that you have these little Hansel and Gretel like breadcrumbs that take you places. The Alt gets you to the breadcrumbs. You can see right here, the W gets you to the view menu. And then you just take a look around and I just happen to know G is for grid lines. And then X here, this little X, gets you to the specialized grid settings, okay? Ooh, with my green screen, I can hide it behind me. Okay, that wouldn't be very helpful for you. But what I want you to do is focus in on these grids and guides. So the thing I would encourage you to do, first of all, is number one, enable your grid, at least while you're developing content. It really will help you have that Lego-like precision. The next thing I would encourage you to do is hit snap objects to grid that gives you that ability to just like Velcro have your objects snap to the defined points. And I would display the grid on screen and then I, I personally prefer a quarter of an inch. The default is 1 24th of an inch. You're gonna see, I think that's just a little too much because every time you're moving something, so for example, I'm just gonna take this little first aid kit sign here and every time I hit it, it just takes forever to move something. I don't know why I talk like this when I move it, but I do. If I hit Alt W X again and bring up the grids and guides, you could go the extreme, set it to two inches. And in this case, this thing is going to move like grease lightning because we only have a grid of two inches, one, two. This thing will move all over this grid super fast. It's like Duplo blocks. Now, if you, if you want a little bit of nerd tech technology here, when you're seeing this overall grid at two inches, represents what uh, PowerPoint actually is called the PowerPoint. So in terms of design, those one third angles, you've got a one third uh, about at vertical, one third at the middle and a one third there, three points. Those are what they call the PowerPoints. If you like that kind of grid, that's cool. It is a free country. I like to hit Alt WX, get to the grid settings. And I mean, this is the first thing I do when I get a presentation from a client or a coworker is I set the grid the way I want. Hit Alt WX to get right here. I'll make sure the snap is on and and I like a quarter of an inch, and I will set that as my default. Now, when you set it as a default, what that means is when you open up a brand new blank presentation, you're gonna have your default settings already set up there. And if you notice, you're gonna see it snaps, it's at a quarter, life is good on, on that end. This is what I like. I feel like this gives me that ability to still work pretty fast and efficient, I'm not setting up nuclear engineering here. I'm just making presentations, but I want things to be at a precise spot. I want the confidence of knowing that it's there without me having to do a lot of the knowing fine tuning of things. So keeping your hands on the keyboard and knowing some of these shortcuts is an essential oil of working fast and efficient. I assure you that. Okay, hopefully by now I've convinced you to live the grid life when you're designing presentations. This is just one of many tips I am going to bring to the table regarding presentation workflow over this next month. So stay tuned for more. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in and please make it a great day.